and it's not just eight, so baby is happy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey guys, so I'm just leaving my very first ultrasound with baby H. Um, wow, it's like, you know there's a little person in there because, um, you know, you're sick all the time. And so they measured me at um, 12 weeks and one day. And all 12 weeks I've been nauseous. From the moment I was, I that egg and that sperm met. I have been sick, nauseous, cramping, headaches. I'm thankfully able to eat and I'm not vomiting. Thank you. Um, but yeah, seeing that little head and that is um, Steven's head um, and hearing the heartbeat. That's just what I've been wanting. <laughs> But you know, you read everything and you read the statistics and you're worried. Um, so the next step is, um, what's so funny is I had picked a specific doctor I wanted to go to and I was all gung-ho, this is my doctor. I want a woman doctor. She has to be black, da 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 um, Just because, um, you know, you read about some of the unconscious bias that black women have to deal with in waiting rooms and getting medicine and being taken, their pain being taken seriously leave that there so they changed my doctor last minute and i was so disappointed and then when i met him i was like oh i love him like he walked in and i like people who kind of pretend to give you options but then they kind of make up their mind and he was just very kind of straightforward so he told me he said um, i'm gonna get you in for an ultrasound tomorrow and then next week i'm gonna see you and then we'll do blood work for genetic testing and i was like oh my goodness because that's what i've been wanting um I got to the point where the sex so much didn't matter. We do have a preference, but overall our main preference is health. Excuse me, my main thing is to get to 40 weeks, how long this little baby wants to um, cook. And I know when I'm about 32, 33, 34 weeks, I know I'm gonna be saying something different. But I want this baby to cook as long as they need to cook and I want this baby to be extremely healthy. That's the number one goal. Um, so he said that he could get me in next week to do all the testing, which I was super excited about. But then he didn't have an availability for two weeks. So they changed my doctor to another doctor. And I just went to the receptionist who everyone's super sweet. Um, and I told them, I said, hey guys, you know, the only reason I picked this specific date two weeks out was because I wanted to be with this doctor, but if he's not available, can we get in next week? Baby girl, don't play. I need my genetic testing. So yeah, so I'm super happy. We unfortunately are not going with the doctor that we went with with Harper's birth. We still love them, absolutely. They're just no longer in network um, and she's no longer delivering babies. And it was important for me as much as I can, and I know I can't control a lot, like the doctor could be delivering another baby or off or on rotation or whatever, but I am getting to a point where I kind of want to see a good bit of the doctors in the practice um, so that whoever does end up delivering my baby, I've seen before, I'm comfortable with. Um, that's just very important to me with the first time a baby coming out of my hoo-ha so yeah okay so I won't keep this long this is already three minutes I know y'all don't want to hear me rambling but wow 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 um, it's different this time because before being a bystander you're automatically like Okay, girl, come on, suck it up, let's get this. And you don't mean to be like that, but you just don't know the level of discomfort that your your partner is going through. Um, but now it going this round and also being so uncomfortable all of the time already so early um, and then also running after a toddler all day. Um, I'm very tired all the time. But... This is amazing, guys. So, yes, I hope you enjoy the ultrasound and the heartbeat. So, Queena wasn't able to come because one, she was working, and two, due to COVID, no one's able to come back. So, um, I was able to record, which is really good. So, I don't know. Um, everyone's excited about that. And I was able to get the picture. Well, Bumblebee was trying to. I don't know what that Bumblebee don't want none of this. Um, so, I was able to get a little ultrasound pictures. Thank you.
and my ultrasound tech was so sweet. Because as soon as I seen that head, I said, baby girl, that's that. Or baby boy. I said, baby H, that's your daddy head, girl. And so then I, I called Sequina on FaceTime. And so what I got done off the phone with Sequina, she was like, oh, so you guys know your donor. Because people are just very interested in lesbians. And I was like, we're co-parenting. Yes, she, um, the baby, baby H, will know their father. So yeah. Um, just for some people, I know some people, um, we've talked about before how we had some not so good um, experiences with doctors and being, you know, gay as a day is long up in a, a practice. But so far, it's so good. So I'm happy, guys. Okay, I will keep on talking. Let me call someone, y'all. Okay, see you later. What's up, cousins? I have missed you guys. Um, I have not been able to really talk to y'all since this baby journey, but needless to say, I'm very excited. Um, so as you know, with COVID-19, that has changed a lot of things, and it actually has limited a lot of the opportunities for me to experience things on the other side. Um, as you guys know, I carried, and Jamila was able to go with me and support me through all my appointments. So since COVID, um, she's not allowed to have anyone attend her appointments or any of the ultrasounds. Um, so like they give her two options to either uh, record it or FaceTime. So I did get a FaceTime call with Harper and I did get a FaceTime call. So we did get to see our little baby boo on the ultrasound. But, you know, it's just like one of those things that I would love to be there holding my wife's hand, you know, getting all the oohs and the eyes and the feel. So, you know, it's just a lot of adjustment. So, you know, um, I'm hoping as things start to change and the numbers decrease, hope they decrease, um, you know, we'll be able to, well, I'll be able to attend to some of the appointments. And not only that, it's got me thinking like, am I going to be able to be in a delivery room with her? You know, I know Jamila really wants to, um, push she doesn't want to have a c-section like me but god forbid if she did have to have a c-section would i be able to be in the operating room with her so it's just like real scary times to even think about having a baby during COVID 19 because you know it's just really you don't know what to expect i know i was really we were really heightened with harper um when people came over we didn't allow them to like pick her up for a while you know have people constantly washing their hands because you know she was born premature so it's just very scary to think you know what's going to happen this time around with our new baby so you know i just wanted to pop in and just you know be honest be real be transparent that you know for me it's, it's kind of sad it really has hit me in a place where I'm trying to deal with because I, I can't be there to support my wife. I'm missing those connections. I know she's here with me and the baby's here with me all day, but you know, it's just something about being in there for those ultrasounds, being able to talk to the doctor, being able to ask questions because you know, sometimes being the pregnant woman, you're just in the moment of what's going on. You have questions about your body. And I know for me, I'm, you know, I could be there asking questions that she may have asked me or mentioned weeks ago that she didn't remember during her appointment. So it's just really the support factor um, and just really missing seeing some of those things this time around again, especially with, with the shoe being on the other foot. But um, yeah, if you guys have any interesting or if you're like expecting or going through a um, IUI, IV, IVF process, like how have they allowed you to be there in the room with your partner. I know um, one of my friends, you know, they have been able to, their partner and have been able to visit together with, during their appointment. So I don't know if it's particularly just the practice that we're using, but I would just be very interested to see what you guys have been going through or, you know, any knowledge that you can share about what they're doing now with delivery, C-sections and all that good stuff. So drop it in the comments and let me know. Later.